Here's why Giant's Maestro technology is the best mountain bike suspension on the market. First, it's fully active, giving you a full range of controlled travel for every type of trail condition, stutter bumps or G-outs. Second, it's efficient. Every watt of your energy gets cleanly transferred to your rear wheel without the suspension fighting you. Third, braking independence. Whether you're on or off the brakes, Maestro suspension is fully active, meaning you're always in control. The secret to Maestro's performance is its near vertical wheel path that allows your suspension to remain independent from pedaling forces while also remaining active to any and all impacts. All this means your rear wheel stays in constant contact with the ground and all your power drives the bike forward. The bottom line, a fully active, efficient and independent suspension system. Compare Giant's Maestro to the zero pivot suspension technology found on the Cannondale Scalpel 29er. Suspension activity is severely muted because the suspension simply can't react smoothly to trail impacts. There are minimal pivots and much of the frame's reaction to the trail impact is reliant on the flexing frame elements and they simply don't react the way smooth, rotating pivot points do. The arcing rear wheel path is severe and mimics the inherent problems of a poorly performing single pivot point suspension design. The bottom line, it's not active. Looking at the four bar suspension found on the Specialized Stump Jumper FSR29, while active, its downside is that the rider will experience heavy pedal bob under normal riding conditions. This translates into an inefficient suspension design, robbing the rider of precious watts. The rear wheel path is vertical, meaning the bike is heavily reliant on shock technology to aid in its efficiency. Even with heavy shock compression damping, riders will find this designed to bob under pedaling motion. The bottom line, it's inefficient. Next, the Trek Rumblefish. This suspension design, called ABP, also has an arcing rear wheel path, and that translates into pedaling inefficiency. Similar to single pivot suspension, the rear wheel can actually be pulled away from the ground. It can also pull against the rider's pedaling motion. Bottom line, it's inefficient. Next, the Santa Cruz Superlight 29. This is a classic example of single pivot suspension design. This bike features a heavily arcing wheel path, which is notorious for pedaling inefficiency. The suspension is constantly fighting the rider in every gear combination. And with regards to braking independence, single pivot designs are infamous for locking out under braking loads. Bottom line, single pivot designs are terrible at both pedaling efficiency and braking independence. The Santa Cruz Tallboy features a design called VPP, which results in an S-shaped wheel path. This relies on chain tension for efficiency in its initial travel, and only deeper into its travel does it become active. The problem with this is a two-stage feel to the suspension. The bottom line, overall it ends up being inactive. Finally, the Kona Satori, which features a design called Modified 4-Bar. With the rear pivot point located on the seat stay, the rear wheel path is arcing, mimicking single pivot. Chain forces have a direct result on suspension activity. The harder you pedal, the less active the suspension. The bottom line, this design results in both pedaling inefficiency and brake jack interference. Only Giant's Maestro suspension overcomes the inherent problems found in these other designs. Activity, efficiency, and independence. These are the three key attributes to any quality full suspension design. Only Maestro nails them all.